Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my only guest of the evening is a returning guest. Um, she is a remarkable singer, songwriter, also an award nominee as well. She's been on the show before and super happy to have her back. I'm joined with Miss Jennifer and Maude. She is back. How's it going? It's going great. Really good. Great to have you on and uh, catching up with you on some things. And uh, thank you for your time. Um, I'll go ahead and get the first question out there. Um, how's everything right. been with you since the previous interview we did? Oh, the, it's it's been it's been going really good. Um, got a lot of projects going on and and staying really busy so it's been a lot of fun that's awesome to hear and as i mentioned uh in the introduction uh you was also nominated uh for the josie music awards i believe it was the previous year um yes so talk about that nomination uh what was the reaction when you found out that you was nominated you know, it, it's such an honor whenever you are nominated um, for any award, um, it, just because you're in such a, an amazing group of artists, and it, it's nice to be recognized, and everybody is so talented, even if they're not, um, even if, you know, you don't get nominated or you don't win, everybody there is just so amazing. Yeah, so I found out about the Josie Music Awards just last year, and um, I heard that it is one of the most prestigious um, award shows for independent artists, and their whole voting system is quite fascinating. Um, I guess the people that uh, got nominated, it's like 3% of the votes, or the voting per se. Uh, so the fact that you represent that group of musicians from across, you know, the country. That speaks volumes. That just seems. That just means that that's a lot of people that really, um, that really likes your music and uh, see you um worthy of the nomination. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, and I I want to say last year I thought someone said, and I don't know if I'm correct, but I want to say there were. 50 or 60, between 50 and 60,000 um, nominees. So, I mean, it's just, there's just so much and there's, it's just gotten so big and it was so much fun. It was at the Grand Ole Opry and it was just, it was a blast. Yeah, there's definitely um, truly an incredible honor. Grand Ole Opry. You know, the war show, everybody all dressed up with the suits and dresses, you know, just makes you feel like a star, like a million bucks out there. Uh, just being there with your peers and celebrating this this uh, momentous occasion. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, so I see that you have released a couple songs last year. Um, you released uh, Memories Don't Burn. And Love Me is your latest single that came out uh, this past October. So I wanted to chat with you about your latest tracks here. And then uh, we'll start with Love Me. Talk about uh, how that song came to be. Oh, you know, I I just, I don't know that there's a, there's this great um, inspirational story behind that one. It's just one of those things where... I was thinking, it's like, you know, it's sometimes the the best way for someone to love you is to walk away from you if they know they're not the right one for you and they know that you're just in it. And so I I wrote that one. And then, of course, I went into the studio with um, uh, David Carr Jr., um, who did an amazing job because I, every song I do has a different sound and a different feel. And I don't want, 
you know, I want everything to be recognizable, like, oh, yeah, that's that's Jennifer. But I don't want it to sound like the same song that I released before. Um, and I think he did a great job. It's got like this old school sound, but still this little soulful jazz drive to it. So I, I thought it was a lot of fun. It definitely had a um, a jazz feel to it. And I'm very pleased that David Carr Jr. Um, contribute to this song, um, who's also part of um, Nashville Entertainment Weekly. Very, very talented musician. Um, very genuine, good dude. So um, obviously, y'all being from um, the same group, the same label, per se, getting this collaboration going. Um, and... You know, Dave is uh, terrific. Um, so with you bringing him up, what was it like to have Dave on Love Me? I, you know, he's such a great artist and I just really enjoy working with him. You know, I go into the studio and I swear we sit there for about an hour and talk about nothing before we even start working. It's like if I, I know I'm going into the studio with David, I know it's going to be an all day event. And we're, we're going to, I go in and do the vocals like a couple of times <laughs> and then I'm done. But it's, uh, he's so easy to work with and he's so talented. And I, I'm just like, you know, I, I want the song to feel like this. And he's really good about, I, I gotcha. I, I know what you want. So it's, he's such a professional and, and so good. So it's always an honor to work with him and, have him produce and um and him even throw his contribute his music on there and his talents that's amazing so you can check out the song love me from jennifer um that is available on all the platforms uh she's got at least multiple songs um, that she's released on the platforms um beautifully unbroken uh, that came out in 2020, Memories Don't Burn and Love Me. Both songs came out in last year, 2022. All those songs are available on all the digital music platforms. So, we are now in mid-May, getting to the midpoint of 2023. So, with all that being said, um, what do you have in the works? Um that uh, your fans that are very eagerly wanting to hear, wanting to check out, what what you have uh, coming up, new music, upcoming shows, uh, anything that uh, people need to uh, get in touch with? Yeah, so I do have shows coming up. I'm being a little bit, I'm, I'm doing less shows this year um, on purpose. Um, but I, I do have some shows coming up and then I do have another song that, you know, as soon as we talk to Jill and TJ, that'll come out whenever they're ready for it. And, um, more songs heading into the studio too. So there's a, there's a lot going on that I'm excited about. All right. So, um, she got the shows. She's got a lot on the horizon. Uh, check out the website, jenniferimard.com. That's E-M-A-R-D, uh, jenniferimard.com. It's got the social media on there. It's got the social, uh, the music, the pre-saves, and, uh, and pretty much everything um, that you need to know about Jennifer. Um, so the, I like to give Jill and uh, TJ... Uh, their flowers um, for helping, for being a helping hand to artists like yourself, and David, and, and many others throughout the years. Um, they are just incredible people that are really a huge, are very invested in to artists like yourself. Um, they go above and beyond getting the word out spreading the word on on music upcoming shows and just they just go in like every time i'm on facebook i'm scrolling 
I see a Nashville Entertainment post every day. They they really care about their artists. Um, so they really do. Yeah, they're wonderful. Just truly um, remarkable people, and um, you know, if you if you're an artist and you want to get some promotion, get some assistance, um, go look up Nashville Entertainment Weekly and um, get in touch with uh, Jill or TJ, and uh, they'll lead you um, lead you there. Um, so it's it's truly amazing. Uh, so, Jennifer, you, you've done incredible things. Um, you've been uh, very fantastic. So um, I've definitely, um, obviously, been a fan of yours since 2020, uh, literally since uh, this pandemic. Uh, so it's pretty cool to see things back to some normalcy and artists like yourself. Um, getting back to perform in front of crowds again and having that uh, opportunity. So um, this is truly awesome uh, to see uh, you just continue to evolve, getting these nominations, getting these opportunities headed your way. Um, I really love the Love Me for the song. I really did. That's definitely my favorite song from yours. Uh, and now hearing that David Carr contribute to the song makes me love the song even more. Um, just stuff like that made me want to get back to listen to jazz because of you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he did it so amazing with that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Did uh, an incredible job. Uh, so um, Jennifer, um, you did, you got to accomplish a lot over the course of your career. You you know music out being heard on radio stations, you performing, you doing all these incredible things. Um, I mean, just how, how do you feel about your growth, about your just evolving as an artist? How do you feel about just how you come come so far from getting started as, a, as an artist all the way to now? How do you feel about your growth as an artist? Um, you know, as long as I'm growing, I'm happy. I'm I'm not happy treading water. So as long as there's movement, sometimes it's not as fast as I want, and then sometimes it's a lot faster than I intended. So it, it comes in waves, but I've been pretty happy with, um, you know, I, and I don't think I would grow at all if I didn't have a great team behind me and a great musicians and you know like david producing i i definitely owe my growth to the people around me um and you know sometimes it's, it's slow sometimes it's fast you know some years i get a lot of nominations and some years it's you know ah, i guess it's, this wasn't it but you know you're still growing you're still learning and you're still um moving so i i would say anything's good anything is good indeed so um, with the song Love Me, and you have been talking about new music in the works, uh, could we expect more jazz-inspired songs from you in the future, going back to the pop route? Like, um, what kind of direction you want to go with your with your new music that you have on, on in the works? Oh, yeah. Um, I think this next song is pretty, it, it has almost a contemporary feel to it. Um, very symphonic, um, instrumental. Of course, everything I do is vocally forward. Um, if there's too many instruments, I'm like, y'all get out of the room. It's about me. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm definitely, David and I were just talking about this the other day, about getting into the studio and doing some more and anything I do with David is definitely, I love, I love saxophone. I love that groove and that, you know, soulful jazz feel. So for sure, I'm definitely leaning more toward that direction. Okay. I, I like that. And especially with the possibility of you and David collaborating again, I'm all in. I'm all in for it. I feel like you got the chemistry there. 
um, why not want it back? Why not go for for the uh, collaboration and see um, where y'all go from there? So I'm 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 hooked. I'm all in. Uh, David, Good. shout Good. out to you. Shout out to David Carr. Uh, shout out to everybody. Nashville Entertainment Weekly. Um, Jennifer, so good to have you um, back on the show. Um, thank you so much for uh, your time. Very, very proud of you. Of uh, just everything you've been able to do thus far. And I look forward to seeing what you have next on the horizon. And uh, thanks again. Um, you got any final words to listeners or just, just anything else you want to say before... Conclude. Oh, no. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for, for your time. And uh, once you got new music, um, we'll, we'll talk about that too. You know, once the new music is released. So uh, thanks again, uh, Jennifer. Great chatting with you again. Thanks. Always a pleasure.